Hello, Sagittarius. This is your bonus reading for December. Congrats. Let's see what's up. Alright, this is going to be Thunderdome, so there's going to be two readings for two people. You and the person you're dealing with, right? You figure out who is the shittier person, and that's not you. That's usually how it goes. Or it is you. It all depends, really. Um, if this is for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, so this resonates with you, cool beans. If not, don't worry about it. Just boop your nose, and away it goes, because there's no reason to uh, be miffed because something doesn't sound like you, or it's in the wrong placement, or whatever, right? Cross watchers, also, switch where you need to, because I have no idea what's going on. Or also like saying fuck a lot, so if you aren't in entertained by that, I'm sorry. It might not be for you. Anyway, let's see. Lovers reversed. And so we got for both of y'all. Ooh. And someone's miffed already. What did I just say? Anyway, King of Swords reversed. Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Gemini definitely showed up for lovers. Might be a decision of no choice, and it's disgruntling you. One of the two of you, anyway. Anyway, let's start with group one. Moon reverse, Pisces, Cancer. Someone's coming out of feeling like their emotions were played against them. And then we got the King of Swords here once again. Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. He is miffed in this situation. The wants and wishes is the magician. Someone's wanting to manifest or take control of the situation with some sort of energy. The obstacle and challenge is ending that, possibly. Uh, fears and rejections is the Eight of Wands reverse. Someone was waiting for a message that hasn't come. Or someone's afraid it won't come to them, right? Great. How this shit starts how it'll end a happy family and the beginning theme is the world reverse stagnation group one Two. Mm. let us see i would do this live but i'm lazy and i feel like setting all that up like i literally just set my camera on its little like weird stand thingy that I got right here and then like it takes forever for me to actually write anything and it's just no I just rather do it this way it's simpler let's see mm. so someone's figured out they've been played for the fool the obstacle is to end it but it's like they're afraid a message isn't gonna get delivered like you know like, I'm tr like either they're trying to give the signal that it's over or they're waiting for something to know whether or not it's over right it's got them in the bad position in group one and they want to manifest something which is this happy ending hmm it's moon reverse someone feels like they can't charge forward so they just want to knock heads a little bit being a little bit hostile um they may feel defeated, but there might be a chance that they get back up from that defeat. Which is the fact that this Ten of Cups, this dream, did not come out to be. It was not something fulfilling. It didn't um, give them, you know, this happy ending that they were looking for originally. With how this starts and how it'll end. The full cycle to the circle. Yes. Which is interesting. So there's something about this that's created a scenario the situation with the king of swords are first where someone is miffed um, change happened and some shit went down it killed the pegasus right and someone found themselves waiting for nothing and they don't want to wait for nothing no more that's the obstacle over here Yeah, they feel like it's fruitless to wait for something that isn't happening, which is possibly somebody delivering a package. An Amazon package, not an R. Kelly package, right? So it's a good package. What kind of shit is it filled with? We don't know. We just know it's cool shit, right? Right. But it should have been, but something's happened to her. Like, it's not even worth it anymore. It's just an empty promise, almost. 
up in the wants and wishes is the magician group one trying to manifest stuff unfortunately someone is so busy trying to create whatever it is an empire or a kingdom whatever with the king of wands that they are ignoring that there are snakes in their yard ouch and that's leaving a lot of confusion about whether or not they should trust this bird to bring a wreath of peace it's just like should i cut it and make it like chicken wings or should i like trust it to make it to my friend because they might have heard some naughty gossip from other people you know, just to poison the well that's what i always feel like with this it's like this pair just comes up saying like all sorts of shit or even lying to get something from somebody and maybe this is like some sort of history like someone isn't sure whether they should trust somebody who keeps coming back First stuff or says negative things all the time to them about certain people I don't know it's like you're not sure if you should trust the gossip that might come around uh, group one or you want to be able to tell who's who that could be the situation too all right the obstacle and challenge right here which is ending things with the three of wands which is also over here once again um, this tower hasn't happened yet, so whatever it is you're looking for up here hasn't happened, you're still kind of possibly speculating, right, on what you should do because you haven't seen the results of your efforts yet. But you have to be really careful because you, be, could, you could be putting your own bias in trying to make it something it's not. We, got, we do have the magician up here, but now he's reversed. And shadow side. It's like you're trying to make your candle brighter than the sun, or make your truth the truth, and you, there needs to be care with that either that or someone's doing that with you it could be group two we don't know yet do we mm, and someone might be running away from like this issue over here to this um making up shit in their head to make to compensate for what actually happened i feel like you know at least that's how I'm putting it. Who knows, group one. Anyway, here's a rejection. Eight of wands reverse. Someone did not get a message. And they feel like they did it to them fucking selves. Mm. Like no action was taken. Or the fear of no action being taken. They just wanted to get away from all this shit. Kind of like down here with this obstacle. And to totally end things. But they couldn't because, like, they didn't actually go towards what they needed to. It's like someone didn't allow the um, tower to happen. And that's, like, the problem. And now riding off anywhere else is a disaster. Or trying to go back to this scenario would be a disaster. So, group one, you're probably afraid of what the fuck might happen if you, like, just come back like a prodigal son. How this shit starts, how it'll end, what brings a full circle to the cycle ten of cups right someone is very loyal i feel like very um to the point of religious you know like upholding and whatnot the values and morals but that leads to a heartbreak and this king of swords just watches shit come his way or you're watching it from a distance, right? Possibly even feeling like an abandoned child a little bit, you know? But he's sourpuss over here. Oh, wait, I forgot, like, the ending theme. My bad, guys. My bad. My bad. Oh, there's the Emperor Reverse. That's always nice to see. Huh. <laughs> Someone's sad about the tree. They think it's taking it's too long. But nothing's happening with the Wheel of Fortune either. They're just sitting there waiting. Everything's stalled because they aren't... I like. I feel like they're doing stuff to avoid doing what they need to do. You know, up here with the Moon Reverse. Someone is trying to uh, remove themselves from temptation. Group 1. In order to bury things that are coming up now. Hmm. That's weird. Anyway, King of Swords in the situation. Six of Pentacles. Something needs to be fair. Something given to somebody either well-known or maybe somebody older than you. 
But it's like it'll balance things out if you give something. But that might not happen. It, like, it, it, like if there's any, like either this is you or just the situation, group one. But it's like someone has to give something to somebody older. But it seems like it's gonna be anything but the truth. It's gonna be like, oh, well, you know, you know that's that's not that's not that's not the problem. Let's not worry about this shit, okay? It's not a big deal. Yeah. Wants and wishes. Hmm. I'm not sure about that. Hold on. There's two people here having fun. What did I say about this one before? Like, someone is trying to figure out who the snake is in all this. Like, someone's spreading misinformation or whatever. Like, there's a pairing here to people who are in, like, their childish nature, having fun, naked, pulling each other's stuff or whatever. And then we got, like, the Wheel of Fortune, they got the monkey. He's going <laughs> all the way back in the back, you know, like, just trying. I guess he would try to be pretending to be an engine or something. Let's see. Okay, that makes more sense. Yeah, it's time to let it go. Like, whatever this pairing is, group one, it's time to let that shit go. Temperance card. Be at peace with it, you know? Obstacle and challenge. Down below. Someone needs to come out of their freaking trip and see that they're holding the snake and they found the dog. But it's cool because now they got a dog, so that's the important thing. Well, make sure it doesn't belong to somebody else because, you know, it might be their dog. Oh, dear. And the king of swords is on the board twice. So, someone comes out of their, like, um, Disturbia, I will say, and realizes they might have been a dick. They might have been a colossal dick. Like, if the Emperor and the King of Swords is on the board and one of them's reversed, or even both of them is reversed, that's usually a colossal douchebag to me. Be smart and knows how to be mean, and is confrontational, and will make you back down. Nutball. Alright. Fears and rejections. Something is completely unfair, group one. And you need to, like, text somebody. You get to your phone and look at it and be like, where do I go from here? Oh, someone you need to talk to? Or someone you need to call? I don't know, but I feel like you, you kind of need to do that. Just it. Okay, give yourself some relief. Let's see. Well, last one gets three cards. Alright. This King of Wands has to be fair and understand that he cannot crush the little lizard in his hand. He must be gentle. And there might be regrets with letting something go. But they're still going to be really in their feelings about it. Group one. Hmm. Like really in their feelings. Yeah. All right. Well, that's group one. Let us go to group two. I'm just knocking Murphy everywhere. My way. My bad, dude. I didn't mean to do that. Well, group one's yours was quite interesting. Let's see what group two has to say. Group two, we get, either will get your side, or you'll be just somebody completely different in this. It's one of the two, so we'll figure it out as we go on. Because I have no idea what um, groups ones was about, hardly. Well, yeah, I really don't remember right now. I'll probably have to watch this over. Anyway, group two, let's shuffle your cards. Make it all nice and random but is it really random hmm that is a wonderful question i would say all right so group two for sagittarius sun moon rising and venus we got the sun right here okay so definitely could be leo involved sag if you're dealing with one or even gemini for sure I don't know if this is you, but I'm just putting that out there. 
you two cross watchers, whatever. Um, definitely a pairing, though, group two. There was a wish here that was granted, but it came with a lot of baggage. And now someone's, like, just showing off their feelings, pretending. Or something, like, just to get something that they want in order to feel secure. Uh, but then here's the Knight of Wands, the Booty Man card, come runneth, or whatever. And here's the High Priestess revealing secrets that she's learned from beyond. I have no idea what that means, but whatever. We're gonna continue. Anyway. What's the situation? The Ace of Cups. Wants and Wishes. Group 2. Ace of Wands reversed. One of these are false. It's probably this one. This is reverse. This new beginning isn't happening. The obstacle and challenge, though, is balance with the Six of Pentacles. This one always trips me out. I don't know why. It's just, is this really balanced? Because I'm not sure. Like, yeah, he has to keep all those pentacles back in order to be the one to, like, give to this person. But couldn't he give just a little bit more? Like, does he need to be that greedy? I mean, I don't know. It's, like, holding a lot back, I guess. Let's see. Fears and Rejections. Seven of Swords. Reverse. A risk that is not worth taking and someone probably took it. How this shit starts, how it'll end. Knight of Cups, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. In the beginning, theme, group two, the Devil. Capricorn's card. Ooh. Someone's in their shadow side. Or the devil sneaking in to just start some shit. Who knows? Like, it could be anything, honestly. Up to you to decide. Is he dealing with a Capricorn? I don't know. We also got Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. We got Gemini, Leo. I'm sure there'll be many, many more. Yeah. All right. So let's see. It's like there are two people who are, can complement each other completely, but one's holding back so much from the other, and it's like a risk that turns nasty. I mean, there's an Ace of Cups here, a new love. But there's something wrong with, like, not wanting a new beginning. And someone possibly traveling on to find, like, different love somewhere, maybe? I don't know. Weird. Group two, so let's see. I feel like group one is terrified of, like, the con consequences or some shit. I don't know. Anyway. That's what it feels like a little bit. It's like, they're stuck. Mm-hmm. Alright, so the sun. Could be Leo. Could be a greedy bastard. Holy shit, there's the six <laughs> pentacles again. <laughs> yeah, this is, yeah, this is definitely like someone's holding a lot back or over somebody's head or some shit. It's like, if there's a pairing group too, it's like, Suffocating? That's creepy. Okay, let's continue on, because, yeah. You know. Two creatures just do not match each other, but they do find peace with each other. Possibly for some reason, either like morality, ethics, just loyalty in general. And possibly just because nobody wants to argue. But now, like, someone's making a choice between a world they built and reality. Okay. It's almost like a dick. Like, the Emperor isn't even out here reverse. Like, mmm. I just feel like this person doesn't... It's like ownership. Let's see. I'm looking for negative things to say or spreading negative shit or just saying shit. Because they don't have enough? Group two. This is weird. What is this? Who is this weird person? Like. Hey! 
Does someone feel like a Pokemon catcher? Like they gotta catch them all, but they can't catch them all, and that leaves them a little bit feeling like if they're not satisfied financially. Because like this side, I think financially. The other side where it's dark, I think like emotions, because it's got the moon there, and that's what the moon's responsible for and shit, right? Ugh, my nose. And like I don't, I can't tell if they think that like <laughs> right. I don't know. I just can't tell. I don't know. Let's go down here. Ace of Cups in the situation. Uh, this Ace of Cups is probably a, a, a dream that might end. Or it's a shitty dream because someone can't choose between their baddies. Like, there are a bunch of baddies. But someone can't make a choice. And they're standing guard on that group, too. Your wants and wishes. Mm. Uh, this new beginning won't start. And it's like you're filling out for somebody. It's Mr. Manhattan. He's just here to tell you hello. Beautiful naked lady. How do you do? You know, it's coming as a guide almost. Or maybe you're communicating with them. They're telling you to walk away from shit in order to release yourself, possibly. Hmm, interesting. Down in the obstacles and challenges below. Six of Pentacles. Someone's ignoring your intuition about this person who's holding a lot back. I feel like it's almost like um, I don't, I really do feel like it's a financial thing. I don't know why, though. But, yeah, it's definitely, like... Mm. And someone doesn't... I feel like someone doesn't want to make an impulsive mood. I think they want to talk shit, but they aren't making an impulsive mood. Could be you, Sag. Hmm. I guess it's... Like, this is an old connection... And people need to say bye, but the person isn't moving towards it. They're ignoring their intuition about it. It's like... You know, if you want to leave, leave. That's what it almost feels like, anyway. Let's see. Fears and rejections. Oh, dear. Risks that are too risky. Someone feels like they are trapped in a situation they can't escape from with the chariot. People be watching them on left and right. That's the sun card. That's Leo again. It's like they are being watched constantly and feeling trapped by it. Uh, but they feel like they want to end the burden too. Or they're getting close to ending this burden. Down below and how this shit starts. So end. Knight of Cups right here. Investment. Someone worrying a little bit about the investment though. Feeling like they might get beaten up. I don't know why I said it that way. That's the second time I've done that in a while. Like, the per like this person might feel like they might have gotten invested in this. And they bit off more than they could chew. Ouch. What is below the different group two? Some gossiping and nasty shit. That's what it is. Okay. Ooh. Mm. Group two? I don't know about you. I can't remember what the first card was either that I dropped. Mm. Oh, it was the Lovers and the King of Swords. That's what it was. Separating and being bitter about it. So let's see. Up in the energy. Yeah. All separate and shit. Now you gotta fumigate your house and pay for that shit, too. It's like, I gotta get a stink out of my fucking clothes. Shit. It smells like I'm everywhere. <laughs> Ace of Pentacles reverse. 
let's see, down in this situation. This is a straight up temptation. The devil's here once again. And there's no excuses to be had for it with the three of wands reverse here. Someone shot the fucking bird. They gotta, like, eat it for dinner. Because there's no reason to fly it anymore. Now, what have you been taking the messages? Let's see. Wants and wishes. The magician. Someone wants to manifest something out of the situation. Possibly with the whole getting out thing, right? Yeah, pack up their shit and all their treasure and just be like, go, 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 go. But there might be somebody immature who might get into it without thinking. Or without realizing that shit, right? Down in the obstacles and challenges below. Oh, that it appears the tower is going to hit twice in a row. It was just like, if you didn't learn the lesson the first time, here's a repeat. Ouch. What comes after that? Everyone starts swinging. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> that tower strikes twice and then everybody's getting hit. Everybody. There's one person comes in and just like annihilates things. Holy fuck. Group two. <laughs> this is some crazy shit. Let's see. Fears of reductions. Some people talk somebody out of um being paranoid enough to go start and shit. Hmm. Person might be a slave to these people. Or serve these people a lot. Or they're easily talked down to because of their position. Or maybe these people come in and be like, hey, you know that person, they like, um... You, you dream about, like, you know, you, you don't get as much for, for the service you do for them as they do for you doing it for them. Or whatever it is I'm trying to say. I don't know. Oh, that's my sister. Yeah. What time should I be there? Sorry. That's my sister. She comes fast. But yeah, let me drop one more on this fear and rejection one really quick. Mm. Yeah, it's got someone looking at their friend like, should I trust you or like, are you one of them? You know, this person is not even paid attention to that neither. Group two. All right, let's see. I have no idea how long this video is. I'll check it when I'm done. done. I'm still in our half hour, I'm good. All those days of like having a phone that only recorded like 30 something seconds and or whatever has really got me trained. <laughs> Alright, how this shit starts, how it'll end, group two, and then we are done. St. Michael's going duke with his horn, calling people up to be awakened or they are chosen, and leaving people to fight. In the aftermath, I feel like. Group 2, you might have, like, some protection on your side when it comes to these people fighting all around you because someone is getting called out of this situation. Like, they don't even know what's going on. They're blindfolded, just sitting there, like, you know, like, I love that they had corn, and they're just got a headphone on their head while these people are just clanking, stabbing themselves with, like, knives and shit. Mmm. How strange. Anyway, Sagittarius and Cross Watchers, that's the reading. So if you enjoyed this, please like, share, and subscribe if that's what you want to do. No pressure, of course. That's up to you. But I love y'all's faces, and I will see you later. Bye-bye.